Please introduce yourself. What is your name and what do you teach? Uh, my name is Jesse Lang and I am the vocal music instructor here at the high school. So I teach choir and voice class and I hold supplementals in the musical and the show choir, both show choirs. How long have you been a teacher? This is my fourth year. I'll be concluding my fourth year with this school year. What's your favorite part about teaching? Um, my favorite part about teaching is when you work really hard towards something as a group and then you achieve it at the best level possible, which happens. Uh, there are moments of that in every concert, so it's really great to have that, uh, your work, your hard work pay off. So. How has working at CFHS made you a better teacher? Um, it's my first teaching gig, so I would say that it uh, gave me a real-life perspective around all of the philosophy and the educational devices that I was taught in the scattered 10 years of college that I was enrolled in prior to having this uh, position. So it's good to put the, the theories into practice, and it's good to see what the actual students are like as opposed to... Uh, you know, like 22 year olds pretending to be 15, which is always kind of weird, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah. When did you decide that you wanted to teach as a career? Um, I had a really great experience in high school uh, where I was the uh, first chair in band and orchestra, and I was the lead in the musical, and uh, well, one of the leads, not like the romantic lead, but I had a couple of good scenes. Actually, I won a gunfight, so that kind of solidified that level of importance. Anyway, um, my senior year I was given the opportunity to direct the talent show that we had at my high school and uh, I put together a couple of groups and a couple of bands and it was a massive, massive failure, uh, unfortunately. But it kind of got this, uh, uh, it kind of turned me on to teaching and to being a director and uh, like I said, all that time in college, I had a, uh, a lot of time to practice, so um, a lot of different opportunities to put groups together and make sure everybody's on the right page, and yeah, so. Who was your influence in becoming a teacher and why? Um, I had two really specific uh, influences. Um, the music department at the high school I attended in Michigan had the, uh, a Teacher of the Year winner, uh, who was the orchestra director. Um, the band director was a first chair trumpet in the Michigan State Marching Band when he was in it in like the 70s. And my high school choir director, who was a, like a tiny man who had the biggest heart, and he was one of the best uh, musicians I, I had ever experienced. He had, he gave everything for his, for his program, and he was just, he was a really good guy. Um, and so, it, it wasn't just him that was the reason why I went into teaching, but he was a big part of it. Um, the other influence was the, the teaching opportunities I actually had at Michigan State and at the University of Akron, where I was able to run my own groups, and I had mentors and professors who uh, instilled in me a sense for, um, uh, uh, to strive for excellence and to impart what I knew to the people around me, and uh, yeah, Akron really helped me kind of find my teaching voice. So, uh, What do you like to do outside of school? Um, it's been a, a really interesting period in my life lately. Like We have a 13-month-old 13, 13 daughter. So as of the moment, I like to uh, change pooey diapers, and I like to... Um, well, her name's Wilhelmina, we call her Billy. Uh, so my favorite game is she's now walking. So she'll walk over to me, and I'll pick her up, and I'll go up, and throw her up, and she will, I don't know why, but she, uh, it's, it's just like the end of Dirty Dancing, where she, like, kicks her legs out and her hands out like this, or, or uh, the other, like, thing that does that is when Shamu jumps out of the water, and he lands on the platform, and he opens his mouth, he goes, eh. she looks like, she does that, so I go up, down, and she comes down, and she flops over, and then up, she goes like this, and it's the most adorable thing. So, that is what I do with my free time. 
What is your favorite memory for your high school years? Um, the, the, that talent show was a, was a big deal. Um, uh, and uh, the talent show prior to that, I had this really great, incredibly close friend who, um, uh, she went on to become an actress. She's working in, uh, actually, theater theory, which is really interesting. Like, she's researching playwrights and poets uh, in British Columbia, Canada, of all places. Um, but anyway, um, uh, her and I were, were so close. The, the best of friends. And uh, she found this, uh, this, this skit that we performed at the talent show that... Um, the plot line of this kid is very interesting because it's this guy sits down at a coffee house and there's a girl already sitting down and he tries to get her to like him. And every time he says something weird or she says something weird, the barista behind the table hits the like service bell and then we the scene goes back to where it went awry. So it's like so there's all of these really great jokes and it's funny and and we rehearsed the snot out of it and it was it was good. It was I don't want to say perfect, but it was close. And uh, the fact that I got to have that experience with her, my best friend, and the fact that I got to have it like at my school on the stage that I hung out with every day. Um, when we walked out, when the lights came up on our little vignette, on our little scene, and I walked into the spotlight, um, the audience erupted. And I, it was weird. It was so weird because I had no like, concept of, like, I don't know, I, I was in my own world, I didn't really think, like, anybody knew who I was or gave a crap, but when I walked out on the stage and there was all this applause, that's, and then, the, and then the scene that followed that, the almost perfect performance, it was fantastic. It, either that or performing Frank Sinatra in Germany with the orchestra, <laughs> kind of a toss-up, but the first one probably beats it out a little. Do you have any advice for CFHS students? My advice um, for your typical high school age student is to do as much stuff as you can possibly do with this time in your life. Um, the, the thing that concerns me as someone who sees all of these different people uh, leading their lives, living out their lives, um, is the concept of boredom, or the concept of going through your routine without any passion. And find something that you're passionate about and put all of yourself into it, because when you put everything you have into something, success or failure, you get out twice what you put in. It's... That, and, and the concept of just being bored is is really a waste. It's like being regretful. It's wasted energy. It's and this is an opportunity in your life where you can do really anything you put your mind to. That's one of the things that I'm really happy about here at this job in this place in the world because I've lived a couple of places where uh, the opportunities do not exist like they do here. You can, if you want to you want to do a band, there's a battle of bands that happens every year. If you want to learn how to do technical theater, you want to learn how to do the lights, you want to learn how to do the sound, we have someone here that can help you with it. You want to learn how to make cars? They do that here. There are so many opportunities, and there are so many great people here that if you can latch on to those, and you can get them to bug them into caring about you, and you can really experience what more than you would if you didn't put yourself out there, if you just went through the routine. And I'm not saying to do so many things that your grades suffer, because realistically, you should get good grades first, and then. It's always the end then. If you're not getting the good grades, then you need to refocus what you're doing and how you're spending your time. Because if you're bored and not getting good grades, you're not bored, you're lazy. Or you're not bored, you're distracted. Fix that. And then, once you get that together, utilize the time. It's a gift. All right. Thank you very much.